Washington gyms are closed until at least January 4th. Spokane gym owners are asking Governor Inslee to reconsider this. Thanks for joining us on Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. At least 14 gym owners have started a Stronger Together coalition. The competitors came together as one and wrote a letter sent to local and state leaders asking them to open up the dialogue on the path to reopening. Caitlin Knapp spoke with two gym owners spearheading the coalition. Though competitors, the owners of Deliberate Strength and Duratus have the same goal, open gyms back up. They've had to think outside the box to stay in business and keep their clients healthy. It's been more than a month since anyone has pumped iron inside Deliberate Strength. It's an integral part of our life, being able to be stronger, not only physically, but emotionally and spiritually and all of those other things. This second shutdown has been hard on a lot of owners like Peter Clark. That's why Clark and Kevin Longmire, owner of Duratus, came together with an idea. I reached a point uh, about 10 days ago where um, I, I began to feel like uh, maybe our my best next move was to try to lead in our community and lead for a voice. They came up with this letter with names of many other gym owners. For sure. It was sent out to local and state leaders. We want all fitness to be back open. We're not, you know, prioritizing just us. We want it all to be back open, but I think we've been able to show that we can definitely do it safely. The owners point to this number in their argument. According to a November press release from the Department of Health, 1% of COVID cases came from employees of recreational facilities, which make up 2% of the state's employment population. We can show, I believe, that we have the data that says we can sh operate safely. The main reason for the push to reopen? But when you think about all of the mental health issues that people are dealing with right now, the fitness industry, again, is uniquely poised to serve in that way and to... Longmire has a meeting tomorrow with a representative from the governor's office. He hopes to open up the conversation with how they can safely reopen. In studio, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Nightside.